Hello again. So today we are going to see the lesson about if clauses, also called if sentence. So listen carefully and take notes. All right. Now let's get started. So if clause expresses a condition, and main clause can express a result or a recommendation. So we use if clause to refer to a condition that can be fulfilled or not. It also expresses an action that depends on another action. All right. So we have three structures. First structures. Structure is one. So we have if plus simple. simple present plus future simple for example if I have money I will I will buy a car. All right. So the second structure we have if past simple past plus conditional present so in this sense the conditional present we should use would plus verbs without to, all right? So for example, if he had a book, comma, he would do his exercises. All right. So this is the second structure. All right. So the third structure. We have if plus past perfect. plus conditional past All right so about the conditional past tense we should get would plus have plus past participle of the main verb all right so for example If I had much money, comma, I would I would have bought a nice car. All right. So, to sum up in French, notre leçon d'aujourd'hui porte sur if clauses, aussi appelé if sentence. Donc là, if clause exprime une condition 
Et même clause peut exprimer un résultat ou une recommandation. Nous avons trois structures. Par exemple, la première structure, if. On a if plus simple present plus future simple. Par exemple, if I have money, I will buy a car. Alright? Si j'ai de l'argent, j'achèterai une voiture. Ok? Donc, la deuxième structure, nous avons if plus simple past plus conditionnel présent. Donc, pour former le conditionnel présent, nous utilisons would plus verbe sans tout. Donc, par exemple, if he had a book, he would do his exercises. Si il avait un livre, il ferait ses exercices. Ok donc, pour la troisième structure, nous avons if plus past perfect plus conditionnel past. Donc, pour la formation du conditionnel past, nous utilisons would plus have plus le participe passé du verbe. Okay? Par exemple, if I had had much money, I would have bought a nice car. Si j'avais eu de, beaucoup d'argent, j'aurais dû acheter une nouvelle voiture. Ok Donc là, j'aurais dû... Donc là, c'est une condition qui n'est pas possible. Ok Qui n'est pas possible, par exemple. Donc... So, let's see the notice for to be. So, if we get to be... For the second structure, we use were for every different subject. Alright, for example, if I if I were you, comma, I would accept his proposal so we use war for all subject all right so for this third structure so let's see the notice for second So let's see the notice for So let's see the not So let's see the notice for So let's see the notice for sort So let's see the notice for third structure If we get if plus subject plus head plus past participle of the main verb. So it also means the inverted subject. If you get also inverted subject head plus subject plus past participle of the main verb so we have with the if clause we should get also subject pass would plus have plus first participle of the main verb all right If plus subject plus had plus past participle of the main verb is the same if we get the inverted subject had plus subject plus past participle of the main verb. All right. So 
to sum up in French, donc nous avons des notices par exemple la st structure numéro 2, if place simple fast, place conditionnel présent. Donc voici la construction. Donc avec l'auxiliaire to be, nous utilisons were at tous les sujets, tous les pronoms personnels sujets. Par exemple, if I were you, si j'étais vous, I would accept his proposal. J'accepterais sa proposition. Ok? Maintenant, euh, la deuxième. Donc, nous avons ici la structure numéro 3. Donc, if plus past perfect plus conditionnel past. Voici la structure would plus have plus participé du verbe. Donc, ici, si vous avez le L'inversion du sujet, donc c'est la même chose si vous avez if plus sujet plus past perfect. Ok? Donc, sont les mêmes. Ok? So, that's everything for this lesson. Uh, try to master it. Alright? So, thank you very much and see you next.